Hi all, my name is Patrick Hiselius. I'm representing Telia Company, an ISP and a mobile operator and TV provider in the Nordic and uh, Baltics. And um, if you want to know more about Telia Company, please visit our homepage, teliacompany.com. So I'm glad Access Now uh, provides access to a database on uh, transparency reports and now also gives access to this event about transparency reporting. And thanks for inviting Telia Company. Uh, although I understand uh, our reporting is one of the most read uh, pieces on our homepage, it's difficult for me to know what you watching this event are looking for and how therefore for us to improve. So please have a look and give us feedback on how to improve. Both positives and negatives, thanks. Uh, at Telia Company we say law enforcement disclosure reporting and not transparency report. Because we do transparency in all areas of sustainability. That might be uh, children's rights or environment or our work in the supply chain, uh, gender equality, and so forth, and also on human rights impact assessments. The following are the two starting points for Telia companies reporting. First and foremost, we encourage states to be transparent themselves about their use and scope of surveillance. We welcome, therefore, the yearly transparency reports published by the governments in uh, such as uh, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, Norway and Lithuania. So please do encourage states to do transparency reporting. To supplement those reports from states, our aim at Telia Company is to contribute to meaningful and uh, uh, oversight and discussion. So we publish these reports twice a year a full report with context and other information uh, each March, and then an update of the law enforcement requests each October. And we've done so since 2013. Secondly, as a side effect, our work to be transparent helps us in getting things in order, uh, because when we publish information, it needs to be correct. Over the years, we've added additional transparency to the actual statistics of law enforcement requests. So in, in addition to uh, our statistics, statistics on the day-to-day -day, thousands of conventional lawful intercept requests, we also provide information on unconventional requests and the number of such. That's about blocking, shutdowns, new legislation, etc. and how we have dealt with those. Secondly, we have added links to laws providing states with direct access. Three, we have also added links to laws mandating operators to do data retention for su surveillance. We have also added the links to the government's own reporting. And we've added uh, uh, information on the extent of use of cell tower dumps and lots of context and more. So I invite you to have a look into our latest March uh, 2020 report. One feature of Telia Company's reporting, which I don't know if other companies do, is that our figures are audited, just as our financials. So Deloitte look into our uh, figures and also ask sometimes about uh, supporting documentation so that they can audit our figures. So, which are the main challenges as to this reporting? We have a chapter in our March report on challenges and omissions. The biggest challenge, notably, is that the statistics on number of surveillance requests don't provide the full picture. Governments also have direct access, real-time network access, without requests. Regarding such direct access, Telia Company has no insight into the extent of surveillance, when, who, and what. 
and cannot provide statistics. What we can do, as we do in our reporting, is to publish links to such relevant laws in our respective markets. And as part of the Global Network Initiative, the GNI, we address this salient issue of direct access. Another challenge I wanted to mention here is that some readers try to compare figures between the countries. Several factors make it difficult to compare the statistics between countries. Clearly, of course, had, have different market shares in different markets, and also the working methods uh, within the authorities differ, and we don't know about their priorities and working methods. So, a very short summary. Thanks, Access Now, for arranging this important event. I myself look forward to uh, look at the stream. Uh, on our reporting, first, why we do it? Well, our responsibility is to respect your privacy. But there are laws which mandate uh, us to hand over data for uh, surveillance. What we can do is to be transparent about that, how many requests we get and the context about uh, on, on such requests. Some things I try to highlight in this intervention. One is that TLA company statistics is audited and also a main challenge for transparency is direct access where we cannot provide statistics. So do give us feedback, positive, negative, and on how we can improve. Uh, my Twitter handle is Patrick underscore Hiselius. Many thanks and uh, take care. Thanks. <laughs>